Check fed slash red five. Yeah, it's just uh, it took me a while to kind of write that down to explain it. I put a huge amount of thought into it. Like, well, I've been thinking about it nonstop. Um, last night I spent like two or three hours. Oh shit! Half of my sentence was, was gone. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, basically I have ADD. And there are certain types of things that are really, 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 really difficult for me to comprehend. Um, like, there's learning disabilities that sometimes go with ADD. You're just like, I'm going to turn my music on. And, like, I, I'm an advertising kind of guy. I know how to input information to databases. I know how to, you know, put my name in and stuff. I know how to do basic spreadsheets, shit I had to, was forced to do at AT&T. But beyond that, my job was advertising and, and concepts. I mean, that was yeah. what I did. I, I, I wasn't, like, I was specifically good at those sp two tasks, concepts and advertising. That was my job. But I, I was really, really weak at a lot of academic skills because it's, it's like... It just goes hand in hand with who I am. Like, on some things, I'm extraordinarily smart, okay? But yeah. on on most everything else, I'm just, I'm, you know, just slightly average. You know what I mean? Um, basic math just dumbfounds me. Uh, basic grammar fucks me up constantly. But I have a university education. I'm not stupid. You know what I mean? It's... Uh, yeah. It's very difficult to describe. I'm I'm a concepts and advertising, and uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm the concept guy and the advertising guy. I'm not the uh, I'm not the 
the C, you know, I, I'm, I had a business partner when I first got into business and thankfully he was, a, he was a, an accountant. So since my first day in, in self-employment, I've always had somebody or done business with somebody who's really experienced in that and who could do that stuff easily because at the advertising and the, the concepts I was good at. So I, I'm really, really bad at the tables, the math, the, you know, the formatting for the wording, you know, uh, I'm just really weak in that department. And for me, it's tremendously difficult to put anything on paper. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it just takes a lot of work for me to do. It's really difficult. It doesn't come naturally to me at all. Does that make any sense at all? Or was that just Yes, it, it makes. Okay. It's fair enough. But I can understand. But I didn't. Uh, I didn't realize you were that interested in in the whole idea. I didn't. I, I didn't know you had a real interest in it. I just thought it would be like a passing. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I think the concept sound. That's for damn sure. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. I mean, just think of all the people who have posses, and have spare orcas. Everybody who yeah. has one can sit there and park their orca and zone buff everybody. See, they want to change right now. Fat. Oh, that you right? have to I be. Hope they don't. They, it's already been put into Buckingham. Uh, that you have to be on grid to apply boosting. On grid or in zone? On grid, as in you have to be within. Well, you have to be on the overview. Pretty much. Oh really? I was yeah, not because that. Does, it, does that go the same for the orca having to be there? Everything. It's pretty much that. Um, the way they view it is that a command ship shouldn't be something sitting in a bubble of a pos, giving massive bonuses to a fleet fighting. A command ship should be in the middle of the battle, giving bonuses <coughs> while at the same time the uh, aggressors or defenders, whoever, have a chance to destroy that command ship, therefore removing the bonuses and possibly turning uh, the fight into their favor, because this fleet's just lost all these defense bonuses, etc. I see. Okay. Well, I kind of understand from a combat side, like if you're giving uh, combat bonuses to a fleet, you should be on grid, but like the mining bonuses... I mean, if you if you're coming in with a fleet to mine out like an, an entire groups of asteroid fields, and you have your orca at a centralized place, and you got one person jumping back and forth, you know, running cans and stuff, that yeah, I don't know. Mm, but it's just the way it works. It's like if you change one, of, you change nothing, or you change all of it. It's like drones. Because they, um, they use the same system to apply the bonuses to combat-related and to non-combat-related. Yeah. See, with drones, uh, looking at the log file, um, they want th the only way they could realistically, from a front end point, make NPC scale aggression properly is to change the signature radius. Now, if they change the signature radius to make it either smaller or bigger, that's going to fuck up PvP as well, as well, because then we'll be able to target them either faster or slower, hit them better or worse. So what they've done is they've actually created a new attribute that applies to drones called the tank damage modifier. And basically, if the tank damage modifier is set to 1, that means take it as base. Nothing's been changed. If they take that to 2, that means the AI will assume its signature radius instead of being 50 is 100. 